hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i achieved this beautiful bridal look on my client without further ado let's get right into the video but before that i would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers both the old and the new thank you for subscribing and watching my videos so i went in with the foundation i already prepped her face before i started this video then i went ahead with her foundation foundation was looking a bit lighter than her so i was confused but at one point i knew that it was the lighting because i checked so after that i went in with a concealer in a shade a shade lighter than a skin tone which is early girl concealer then i blended i started to blend note blending is the key blending is just the key blending and if you notice as i was blending a concealer i kept going in with my i kept going to blend my the the blush too because i use the same beauty blender but on different sides so i kept using that is just the key to having a seamless makeup look you blend blend into each other that there should be no ash lines we are not seeing where one particular application is starting and where the other application is also ending so there's we are blending into each other and that's just the, the secret to having a flawless look so now i'm going in with my powder my powder palette tara powder palette i picked the shade that is light on the palette and i applied it under the eye after making sure that I have blended her under eye properly again without having any creasing or anything. Then the reason why I'm just blending the nose um, highlight is because I like the nose highlight to be a little bit tacky before I blend. So that um, I will have a full coverage on the nose and I will not be seeing um, the skin on the um the skin under the concealer i don't know if that has ever happened to you before but if the concealer is not a little bit tacky then you because we don't apply i don't apply too much product on the nose i tend to allow the concealer to be a little bit tacky so that i can have a coverage at least on the nose then before i apply powder under the eye i i make sure that there is no creasing under her eye so i go in with my beauty blender again and blend it then ask her to look up she should not look down until you are done with applying powder under the eye so after that i went in with my setting powder miracle setting powder baking spice setting powder but is it there, there has a baking spice so i went ahead with it and i set under her eye then that is it about that then i went to the brows i first picked my um a gel i used this gel this got to be gel to first lay down the air of the brows then after that i go in with my setting powder but yeah i, I used the um what's the name of this powder i can't remember the name of the setting powder i used here but it was not miracle i used then after setting i go in with my pencil i use david's pencil to draw the brows giving it a air like stroke I keep drawing a airline stroke. Please make your 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 pencil very sharpened and your stroke very light in order to have a very natural brow and seamless brow. If I can use that English, so that's just the secret to this. Just airline stroke. Don't shade. I think it's in the olden days we used to shade, but now there's no shading. You just draw gently, gently does it gently does it please so just keep brushing applying in areas you see that you need to apply air like stroke you can see the way i'm doing it just little by little just air like stroke tum, 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 like that you just keep until you have a desired look that you want or desired brows or you feel like it's okay for you or for your client but I just kept doing that and I kept brushing, doing that and I kept brushing. At this point, please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, guys. I promise that you will always see something to learn on this channel. Then I, now I went ahead to conceal the brows, to highlight the brows with a shade that I used to highlight a Honda high. Then blended the brows make sure that it's really clean the angles are really out the arc is out the 
just basically clean off any excess anything that will not allow the brow to pop because that's just the basics of having a brow to have a very clean arc and um very outlined brows and that's just what i did here then i went in with a brush to blend out the concealer and make sure that everything was looking good i think i did that to the other eye too um then i went in to highlight okay i'm still blending here i just kept blending until i have a seamless blend and there's no ash line or anything around the brows i went in again made sure that everything was okay there was no the lines were really straight and all then i went in with a dark shade here to the outer corner of our nose bridge i went in with a dark shade i didn't i, I didn't extend the light shade of the concealer towards the our nose, nose bridge that was what i did i used a, a darker shade that is close to the contour um shade for ah that was what i did then i went in to blend again and blend and blend and blend and blend just keep blending i did that to the other eye too and i out uh, cleaned off any excess on top of the brows and yeah i used the mirac cosmetic flat brush to achieve that this process just make sure that the two are looking almost like sisters or almost like brothers do you guys understand then i went in i started the eyeshadow and i went in with um blossom pa um, palettes the blossom um eyeshadow pla palette i picked an orange from it and i kept blending colors orange and brown if i can remember was what i used to blend the outer corner a crease area so now i went in with benign clown white and i for the base to apply the eyeshadow on the base because i wanted to achieve a something like a church look something for church look subtle not too loud look i went in with something really cool which is the pink going on and after that i went in with pigments mk beauty ninja pigment boots then after that i lined the high with this eyeliner beyond beauty eyeliner you can see that the looks are already coming together and i hope you are learning one or two things this um lash is from one of my palettes my lash box my lash palette i do not i don't think it has a name it does not it does not have a name it does not have a name so i just picked this and i wanted something not too dramatic and not too subtle and something that will go well then i apply that then i went ahead to powder her face and you can see now that my the foundation has set into her skin and her skin and her neck are blending very well now so i just kept powdering the right places and making sure that everything is well blended with the powder and even all her skin are sitting pretty then i went ahead to line a water line with a dark shade and i moved to the lips i went ahead with a brown shade to line our lips then i put a nudie nudish lip stain on it then i did not like what i was having so i went ahead with this avoc work concealer and i added it to give me this nude that i wanted yes you can use a concealer as a in a lipstick there are basically some products that you can actually improvise for other products in this makeup thing that we are doing so i went ahead and added more blush which is the um taylor cosmetic blush that i used and voila this is the finished look this is my bride the hair stylist already did that thing shout out to beast touches thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video bye